And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to Blue Springs. I'm Jack Ivey, along with Randall Lindsay. We're ready for Belmont Boys Basketball tonight. Belmont is going to be taking on the Urchins right here from East Union. If you're out there joining us on the broadcast, appreciate you being with us here tonight on WRMG. We're going to have the starting lineup, first of all, for the Belmont Cardinals. That'll be Ty Ramsey. Number 10, Landon Sappington. Andrew Marino drawing the start tonight. Number 23 is Eli Marino. And the number five man tonight is Camden Green. Camden, a freshman on this ball club. Once again, it'll be Ramsey, Sappington, Marino, Reno, and Green starting for the Belmont Cardinals. Now the starting lineups for the home team. We're talking about East Union, the Urchins. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Do me a favor, share this link with your friends. Here's the starting lineups now for the ball club from East Union. Tristan Baldwin, we got Colin Stevens, I believe it was Clayton Russell. We got uh, Ben Basil. And Mr. Johnson, Caleb Johnson. So we got the starting lineups here, I believe. 35, 32. Uh, we also got uh, number one is Russell. We got uh, Colin Stevens, number 22, and Tristan Baldwin, number 23. We want to welcome everybody into the broadcast. We got Belmont and East Union boys. Now, the East Union girls not able to play tonight. And if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, thank you for being with us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, it's Belmont in red, the home team, of course, in white. We're live in Urchin Country. We're in East Union and got a veteran group of officials here, for sure one of them. And uh, so hopefully we'll have a good broadcast here tonight. Uh, a few Cardinal fans made their way down, a few East Union fans coming in. But uh, only one game on tap as we're about ready to get this one underway. Once again, we're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay. I want to say hello to Rodney Pinnell out there, Gary Ivey, Madeline Eaton checking in, Nathan Baldwin, or Nathan Hodum, and Amy Baldwin checking in. Got uh, Sherry Green, uh, Heath Stormont checking in, and we'll have even more as soon as you share the broadcast. Belmont basketball with East Union is underway. Tip control by the Belmont Cardinals. Today's game brought to you by Wildflowers as Green puts up the three. It's up and no good. Rebound goes to East Union. Russell will bring it down. Russell down to the corner to number 22. That's Stevens. Russell back over to the left side. Belmont playing some pretty aggressive defense right here. Belmont trying to get back on the winning track after losing that game to Red Bay the other night. Shot up by Russell is no good. Rebound on the left side. The left-hander, number 23, puts that ball up. Baldwin, a rebound by 35, Johnson. And Russell will take that ball down low, 32, Basil. Basil got it over to his teammate who tried to go up. The ball stripped away, and it's going to be out of bounds. And it's still going to belong to the ball club from East Union. So good hustle by East Union. Do me a favor, Mitzi Montgomery Ramsey out there with us, Jason Milam, also on our broadcast tonight. Y'all pray that the Internet's going to hold up. Right now we're on our hot spot, and it's working beautiful. So let's hope that uh, stands up. If for some reason we're still uh, videoing the game, we'll upload it, upload it for you later. Cardinals get a steal down to Ty Ramsey. Ramsey takes that ball down low to Reno. Reno, a good move to the left and puts it up good. Reno getting the shot for the Cardinals, and Belmont is up to a 2-0 lead. 2-0 lead. Belmont is on top. 6.42 to go as Reno got that first basket for the Cardinals. Kicking the ball out. Number 23 drives all in the lane, puts it up off the glass. Good. 23 is Tristan Baldwin uh, getting the shot, and it's up and good. We'll try to get our scoreboard up and going again for you in a minute. We lost that just a little bit ago, so we apologize. So now we got to kind of reset it back up. Shot by the Cardinals, no good. Reno trying to keep it alive to Sappington, and Sappington's got it now. Sappington drives the baseline, pull up, short shot up and no good. Rebound tipped around, and we're going to end up having a whistle and a foul against the Belmont Cardinals. So bringing the ball down is the East Union Urchins. 
Russell works that ball over right side. The Cardinals kick that ball out of bounds. Russell gets that ball in. 23 gets it back to Baldwin. Baldwin on the right side, takes that ball down to the corner, now gets it back. Left side, Russell. Russell, the long three, it's up and it's no good. 23 comes in for the rebound, and we got a whistle and a foul. Let's see who this foul is going to be against. We're working on the scoreboard, and as soon as we get that scoreboard up, we'll put it up for you. Shot up, no good. East Union still getting several opportunities. That last foul was against Ramsey for the Belmont Cardinals. That'll be his first foul. Let's see who this one's again. This is going to be Camden Green. Reno's got a foul, so three quick fouls. Alex Guidry checking in. We've got Candace Commons, Michael Borden, Mark Maroon checking in. Uh, Molly Mathis, uh, Kristen Brazel, or Christy Brazel, Philip McGee. got Brent Barker all on the broadcast. Yes. The Urchins now are up by one, three to two. This is number 22 at the line. This is Colin Stevens. Stevens' next free throw is up, no good. Belmont with a rebound. It's Eli Reno. Left side, Sappington. Sappington shoots the long three in and out. Rebound goes to the Urchins. They got a 3-2 lead with 5.13 to go in the first quarter. Got a great place to broadcast here at East Union. We got a little perch up here on the visitor side. and I've, I've broadcast from the same spot before, but it's been a while. We have got another whistle as Jeremy Brock is getting ready to come in. East Union kicks that ball out in the corner. Shot is up no good. It's off the of East Union out of bounds. And the Cardinals will have the basketball. <laughs> Belmont bring it down. Sappington to Green. Ty Ramsey shoots the long three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound to East Union. They're up 3-2, 4.43 to go. In the first quarter, Reno getting ready to shank back in. Good job of Ramsey to get a hand on that ball. It went out of bounds, and Belmont's still going to have it. Great hustle there by Ramsey. We're working on a scoreboard. Just about got it ready. East Union's a little bit bigger word to put up. 3-2, East Union's got it back. 4.22 to go. Live coverage here from Blue Springs, Mississippi on this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you all of our wonderful sponsors that are making this game possible. Cardinals got it back. Reno, Reno pushing it up. Works left hand off the glass. Good, and he is foul. Eli Reno gets his fourth point of the ball game. He is foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot right here. I told you we just about had our school board fix, and we do not have the points up yet, but I'm going to at least add it, add it on the side right here, and then we'll try to get our points right. Belmont has got four, so let's... For some reason, it's not, not working right. Three fifty-three to go. Belmont's got a four-three lead as the free throw was no good and a layup almost fell off the rim for Russell, but it dropped in good. So we have got a five-to-four ball game here on WRMG. Belmont left side green. Green shot is blocked, but he's able to get it back, but loses it out of bounds. Good try. He tried to save it, and it went out of bounds. We're going to have to do this uh, manually here. Now the score should be correct for you. It is a 5-4 to four ball game. East Union leading over Belmont. East Union working that ball left side down to the baseline. Remember, we only got one game tonight. 
23 with the basketball there is Tristan Baldwin to Russell. Over the corner, the long three shot right side is up and good. Getting that one was number 22. And that is Colin Stevens knocking down that three. And that will make it uh, a eight to four ball game. And a little reverse there by Ramsey. Great job by Ty Ramsey, his first basket of the game tonight. Belmont cuts it uh, a little bit here. Belmont is trailing now by two, 2.40 to go. Today's game also brought to you by Econo Stewart, Brother Haskell Sparks, Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, Mr. Phil Byrm, the Williams man, and of course, Mr. Terry Stanley, dropping that ball inside, number 35, off the glass, good. Caleb Johnson gets the basket, that'll make it a 10-6 ball game. Uh, the ball club from East Union leading. East Union coach unable to go tonight. He's home under the weather, so he may be watching us right now. And Coach, uh, hope you get to feeling better. Hope the East Union girls get to feeling better as well. we got a timeout by East Union. They've got a 10-6 lead over the Belmont Cardinals. Like I say, we are live here um, at East Union. I'll try to get my B back up there where it's supposed to be, but... Uh, so y'all bear with me. We had to make some uh, last-minute adjustments here. Hey, today's game brought to you by Michael Haney. Yes, says good luck to the Cardinals tonight. We're also doing Tish County and Morville. Pearson Construction, Mr. Terrell Pearson. We design and build pre-engineered metal buildings. You can call them at the ball down is East Union after the timeout. The steal by Reno, and Reno is going to be charged with a walk. He let that ball get up high. Belmont basketball, once again, a production of Ivy Broadcasting. East Union bringing it down under some pressure. They beat us back. Jeremy Brock cuts him off, but number 35, Caleb Johnson gets his fourth point of the ball game. And it is now a 12 to six ball game. East Union leading over the Belmont Cardinals. Sapping it over to Green, out of the right side to Ty Ramsey. Ramsey drives a little bit and they're gonna get him with a walk. They got him with that first step walk. Also on the broadcast tonight, uh, who else we got? I'll tell you who's out there. Jackson, uh, Jacqueline Searcy Middleton out there. Gary Moses, Ryan Gray. We got Ty McDonald over in Bell Green. Jeff Gray, James Lamb. Tony Timms with us. We got Claire Stone. We got Miss Frida Hale out there. Jack Richardson. Regina Wallace is with us tonight. Alex Guidry. We got Candace Cummins with us. Belmont Trails 12 to 6. And great hustle that time by the Cardinals, but they missed the layup. And now he comes back and steals it. That's Marino. And we're going to have a walk against Reno. Michael Borden checking in. I told you about Mark Maroon and Molly Mathis. There's Shanna Price Holland checking in with us. We got a minute to go in the first quarter. The ball club right now from East Union leading the Cardinals. And now East Union loses control of the basketball. And the Cardinals will bring it down. They're sapping them with the basketball. Sapping pulls up a little soft jump shot off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound goes to East Union. 39 seconds to go, 12 to six. Today's game brought to you by Funderflow, commercial residential pressure washing with Micah Funderburg. You can call Micah 662-262-3569. Great block by Ty Ramsey. Ramsey pushing it up with 23 seconds to go. Great spin move. No good, but he is fouling. He'll go to the line to shoot. Once again, if you're watching the game on Jack Ivy Live, if you're watching it on uh, WRMG Live, if you're watching it on, uh, um, I guess if you're watching on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, we're on all those locations tonight. And we're on YouTube in high definition. We're live, at, and it's right now a 12-6 to 6 ball game, as you see on the screen there. And the shot up by Ramsey Good. He makes one out of two.
So the Belmont Cardinals will get back on defense right here, trailing by five, and we got a whistle and a foul by Sappington. 12 to seven is your score. Penny Raper checking in on the broadcast. Russell, number one, working there on Sappington, drives down to the baseline, and he is going to be fouled by Sappington again. That'll be Sappington's second foul in a row. So Landon picks up a couple of quick fouls. Amy Schatz checking in on the broadcast from Jazz Mini Storage. And there's a long shot in the corner at the buzzer. No good. We've played one quarter. It is right now East Union leading Belmont by a score of 12-7. Just one game tonight live here in Blue Springs. Today's game brought to you by Thompson Gas Company, the most trusted name in propane. Locally owned and operated by Thompson Gas Company, 256-356-2194. Your hometown manager is Dustin Chase Oliver. Also the Lund Tech with Adam Pruitt, your landscape headquarters. Over 10 years experience, 662-312-9948. By Overdrive Auto Parts, Gavin Cromines. By Brandon Presley, your public service commissioner. Dr. Cameron Bunge at North Mississippi Medical Center. For an appointment, 423-6014. By David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor. He reminds you it's time to sign up for Homestead. We'll be in Belmont on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 4. Now, we're still going to have regular hours at the courthouse, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. For more information, call 423-7059. Also, Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling in business now for over 46 years. Your official York dealer by Big Star of Belmont, Mr. Sammy Hill and the staff. They really appreciate your business. Open seven days a week. Also, Tristead Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells. We got, of course, the world-famous Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, and Brenda Purser in Belmont, the number 454-3304. Stevie Harris checking in, Gene Thorne, got Amy Schatz, Penny Raper with us, Josh McNett, your circuit court clerk on the broadcast, Stone's Jewelry down in Ripley and Tupelo, and also your Allstate agent, a Belmont alumni from 1999, Mr. Mark Montgomery, 256-386-7900. Kicking it out in the corner, driving in, and the shot off the glass. Nicely done there by number 23 uh, for the ball club from, I'll spit it out in a minute, East Union. They're up by a score of 14 to 7 now. As we'll get our school board update, 14 to 7. Long shot in the corner. Sappington has got one of those Community Spirit Bank three-point shots. Community Spirit Bank member FDIC. And, of course, they've been around since 1908. Back door, they catch us asleep, and number 35 gets his sixth point of the ball game. That is Caleb Johnson getting the basket. And that right there makes it a 16 to 10 ball game. East Union leading over the Belmont Cardinals. Marino with the basketball, number 22 over to Eli Reno. Here's Sappington, and we have got a foul away from the ball, and they're going to get Reno with that one. Reno's going to be charged with an offensive foul. So Reno getting the foul. They didn't put it up on the board. They, they put it up. That is his second foul. Long shot, three-pointer left side is up. No good. Rebound goes to Ty Ramsey. And Ramsey. So it looks like uh, East Union is going to have the basketball. Coach Harrison Fancher talking to the official down there. Say, so you sure that's right? Taking a ball to the inside to turn around. He'll kick it back to the left side. Down to the baseline. 35 Johnson in. Off the glass. No good. Rebound Belmont. And we're going to have a foul against East Union. And they're going to give that foul to number 32, Ben Basil. Thank you, Teresa Criddle checking in, uh, Justin Scott, Stevie Harris, Gene Thorne. I told you about uh, all these other folks that are joining us on the broadcast. I want to say hello to Farron Criddle out there tonight. 6.30 to go in the first half. Belmont trails by six. Reno. Ramsey pulls up the shot. No good. Rebound comes off long. 23's got it. That is Baldwin. And then the ball lost out of bounds, and Belmont to get it back. Hey, a big shout-out to Belmont Medical Clinic. I uh, see Mr. 
Edmondson over here tonight. Not for sure the miss is here, but she's probably watching. Miss Heather Edmondson, she's at the Belmont Medical Clinic. The staff, I want to wish the Cardinals good luck. Oh, for the best medical care, folks, you can't beat Miss Heather Edmondson and the staff at Belmont Medical Clinic. For an appointment, 454-3401, and we're going to have another foul against the Cardinals. Those fouls are really building up for Belmont. And that is Ty Ramsey getting the foul. And that would be his uh, third foul of the game. So Ty is going to have to check out for Jeremy Brock in a minute. They're going to send number 35, Johnson, to the line. His free throw, no good. So Ramsey is going to be out of pocket for the rest of the first half. Appreciate uh, Southern Elegance Florists and Boutique, Haley Humphreys and Angie Petrie. 662-279-5763. They're located downtown Golden. If you've seen anything they've sent anywhere, it is unreal how good it is. So check them out. Southern Elegance and Florist in Golden. And right now, the Cardinals are going to go to the line to shoot as Sappington took that ball down low. There's uh, Coach Richie Harrelson checking in. Coach, how you doing tonight? Ernestine Harrison. We got, of course, uh, the Belmont game going on here. We got Tish County Morville going on on our on our stations as well. And we had Red Bay over in the Franklin County Tournament. We had some internet issues at Vina. 22 will check out of the ball game. He just got his second foul. That is uh, Stevens. And um, so he'll check out of the game. Free throw up. It is no good. Said he got one out of two. That will make it a 16-11 ball game. Cardinals got to take every opportunity they can get, uh, especially on the road. And Sapton able to get his fourth point of the ball game, but he made one out of two. 16-11, 5.39 to go. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay on our broadcast here from WRMG. They'll shoot a long three. It's up good. Number 3-0, Luke Wood knocking down a three-pointer. And, folks, that will make it an eight-point lead. Now it's 19-11. Andrew Marino. Andrew, the bounce pass down to Eli. Eli kicks it back out, driving in traffic, and a foul against Camden Green. I think we may have her. Long shot up, no good by the Cardinals. We're down to 4.51 to go. It's 19 to 11, and that ball's out of bounds. We're going to get that basketball back. We should have, but they're going to give it to East Union. I thought it was out. I thought it was out against East Union. I'm sure that was the correct call. I just didn't have a good angle at it. So East Union will take that ball in. Get it into number five in the ball game. That's Parrish Carpenter into the ball game. He gets it over to Russell. I don't know what grade Russell is in. He's looks like he might be an eighth grader or something like that. He's handling himself well out there on the floor, no doubt about it. He's at the top of the key. Works that ball right side. He'll get it back. Now left side 23 ball when shoots the long shot way off the mark. No good. Rebound Marino. Out to Sappington. Sappington working a little one-on-one. -on -one. Kicks it out in the corner. Jeremy Brock to Marino. Goes between his legs. Able to get it to Green. Long shot by Green. No good. Rebound Marino, and he puts it in good. A good, or rather, Reno. Eli Reno gets his sixth point of the ball game. And the Belmont uh, Cardinals have now made it 19-13. to 3.52 to go. We were at three locations. We were in Vina tonight with the... Uh, uh, county tournament, Franklin County. We're in Iuka tonight and also down in Blue Springs, Mississippi, home of Toyota down here in Blue Springs. We're at East Union High School. The Urchins against the Cardinals. Inside the lane, 35. Three seconds. He's got to be. He's the Reno man got that one. There's Miss Donna Weatherford checking in. Lachey Nunley. Uh, Janet Savoy checking in. we got Amanda Thompson. Got Adam Locker, got Kathy Keaton Hale out there watching, Ernestine Harrison, Coach Richie Harrison, I said that. Today's game, of course, brought to you by many, many great sponsors. We're down 19 to 13, and Mr. Reno gets his uh, eighth point of the ball game to make this a 
19 to 15 ball game. Today's game brought to you by Belmont Mayor Buddy Wolfser, Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonny Harris, Brandon Farr, and Ken Delaney. Also, Jazz Mini Storage, and we have got a offensive foul against uh, the ball club from East Union. So Belmont's going to get it back. Appreciate Jazz Mini Storage, Jesse and Amy Schatz, 423-8598. They got them uh, right there on Warren Drive, those mini storage buildings. They got some new units, 10 by 10, 10 by 15, and also 10 by 20. Give them a call once again, 423-8598. Long shot, no good. Rebound on the floor. We're going to have uh, it pulled out of there, and East Union's going to end up with it. Bodies lying everywhere. I expected a jump ball, but uh, they ended up letting them keep fighting for it. And right now we got a whistle and a foul on the other end of the floor against the Cardinals. And that's going to be against Jeremy Brock, his uh, first foul of the game. They're at the line, number 23. This is Tristan Baldwin. Tristan's first free throw, no good. He'll have another one up. This one's no good as well. Andrew Marino with the rebound. And here comes the Redbirds with the basketball. Belmont in red. East Union in white. Today's game brought to you by Northeast Mississippi Community College in Poole. Inside, Reno. Shot is up. No good. He's fouled by number 35. Big shout-out to Gina McNatt tonight, your Tishmingo County tax collector by Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. 662-279-6569. Daniel Mann at Mann Oil Change down in Golden. And you can call him at 454-3557. I think they do pick up and deliver if you need that to happen. Reno's free throw is up and good. He'll have another one coming. 1916, make it 1917. Here's our score as he made both those free throws. So the Cardinals have cut it to two with 2.23 to go second quarter. Thank you, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent in Red Bay and Belmont. Sonny can Belmont and Iuka. Don't forget, we're your morning drink stop headquarters. Sonny can Belmont, 454-3070. Belmont's got a steal. Jeremy Brock, two-pointer in the corner. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound goes to East Union. They got a two-point lead with two minutes to go. Thank you, Katrina Daly out there with us. Bill Durwood, got Candace Harris checking in with us. And East Union. Kicks that ball to the right elbow, looking for help. Now it's going to be a over and back if he picks it up. They said Bell might touch it, so it will not be an over and back. Over to the left side, the long three by East Union. No good. Belmont had the inside position. And number 23, Tristan Baldwin, right there in front of the official, pushed off and got caught. 22 checking in as Colin Stevens back into the ball game. Number 30, Luke Wood will check out. Belmont has got uh, Sappington in the ball game. We got uh, Jeremy Brock, got uh, Camden Green, got Eli Reno, and Andrew Marino in the game for the Cardinals in red. Nine team fouls against Belmont, eight against East Union, and the free throw by the Cardinals up and good. Number 25 is Camden Green getting his first point of the game, and Camden can tie this game up right here. I'm on. And he did. What about 19 Belmont, 19 East Union? A minute and 33 to go. Today's game brought to you by Dickey Spark CPA. Six locations to serve you. Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Also, Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the broadcast, and Explore Liquidations, now their brand-new showroom in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Driving it, kicking it back, now going to the left side to Johnson. Johnson, back out to Russell, now deep down in the corner. Number five handling that ball is Carpenter. Carpenter loses control of the basketball, and Belmont's got a steal, and they're going to get him with a walk. They're going to get Sappington with a walk. So with a minute three to go, we're all tied up 19 to 19. Today's game, of course, brought to you by the Seegers Clinic as they're in Iuka. Dr. Scott Seegers, 423-1000 for an appointment. And they've been doing it right for many, many years. From Dr. Kelly Seegers, and of course, Scott's been with the practice for many years now as well. Got Sarah Cooley, Jessica Glover, and Blake McCauley, your nurse practitioners. Also, big shout out to the newlywed man and his wife, Daniel Sparks, our state senator. 
Also Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo. Mr. Stanley Page, Chris, and all the staff there. 1919 Belmont and East Union. East Union being uh, pretty patient right here. Down in the corner. Now 16 seconds. Looks like they're going to go for the last shot. Jeremy Brock reaches in to knock it away, and he's going to be charged with a foul. They're going to go to the line and shoot. A double bonus here. Number 30 back into the ball game for East Union, Luke Wood. Checking out is number 22, Colin Stevens. Honored to have you on the broadcast tonight. Thanks to Tishomingo County Electric Power on our broadcast. Making one free throw is the home team. And they're up right now 20. Belmont's got 12 seconds. And Belmont turns it away and trying to steal it back is going to be Reno. So number one will come into the ball game for Belmont. And that is Alex Marino. That is the third foul for Eli Marino. We already got uh, three fouls on uh, Ty Ramsey. He's been on the bench for the last six minutes. And the free throw up by number 35 is up and good. Twenty-one to nineteen. Belmont's got plenty of time to get down. Shot is up. It's no good. Twenty-one to nineteen. Belmont bringing it down to the corner. Sappenden shoots one of those community Spirit Bank threes. It won't go. And the rebound and a long shot. It will count, but it didn't go for East Union. Twenty-one to nineteen. Our score. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. The biggest issue for the second half for the Cardinals is to somehow or another keep Reno and Ramsey on the floor as they'll start the second half with three fouls apiece. I know Sappington's got a couple, and uh, um, I'm thinking Green and Brock maybe only have one. Maybe maybe Brock might, might have two. The world-famous uh, principal for Belmont, Mr. Jeff Boren in attendance here, supporting the Cardinals tonight. See old Shannon Edmondson over here. And, who else have we got? We got the Marinos here with us. Uh, of course, we got some Renos, and we got some Greens here tonight. And uh, we appreciate all the folks that have made it out. Not a big crowd from Belmont, and uh, but we appreciate the ones that did come. And if you couldn't come tonight for some reason, pretty good little trip over here. But uh, we are live here. There's the cheerleaders once again from East Union. Here we go. Let's listen in, Randy. Good job by the East Union cheerleaders uh, cheering on the urchins here at halftime. 21 to 19 our score. I want to say hello to Johnny May Collin Strickland out there with us tonight. Uh, Ruth Ginn, uh, Dieta Stevens with us. We got Jack and Brenda Elliott. That's Poppy and me, uh, Poppy and uh, Papa Jack and Mimi, I should say. Uh, thank you, Bill Durwood checking in. Uh, Candace Harris back with us. Bill and Donna Weatherford from Belmont Pharmacy on our broadcast tonight. Jeff Daniels at Daniels Garage uh, down on Highway 30. Uh, also on the broadcast tonight, Sarah Toro checking in. Uh, Daniels Garage, Jeff and his employees want you to invite you to come see them for all your automotive needs. Over 26 years in the business, just three miles down Highway 30 on the left there. And also a big shout out to Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent. By Mac Wom in your Tishomingo County corner. By Redbud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne. By your Tishomingo County Electric Power, Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Community Spirit Bank, by Mississippi Medical Associates Urgent Care Clinic, that's Edric Parrish, your nurse practitioners there are Tono Armstrong and Lisa Ray. Also, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont on a broadcast, serving the area since 1945. 
Also Peyton Cummings, your chance for clerk. Tiffin Motorhomes, Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks by Pro Concert with Terry Hayes. Also Milligan Ready Mix, Mid-South Rehab. We offer outpatient therapy appointments for your convenience. And our swing bed program is the perfect place to recover after surgery or injury. So if your doctor prescribes therapy, look no further than North Mississippi Medical Center IUCAS Therapy Department. You can call them at 423-4058 to learn more and schedule an appointment today. Also, big shout out today to Hometown Pizza. As we're at halftime, Belmont trails 21 to 19. Hometown Pizza, of course, open 11 to 10, located at 70 Arbor Street. They're behind Community Spirit Bank. Call them at 454-0202. And by Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They'll meet all your high-reach needs, 662-279. 7,500. Donnie Bell, your state representative by Silver Dollar Bargains. Located in Golden, Hamilton, and in Tupelo. Red Bay Hospital, Miss Sherry Jolly on a broadcast by Square Pharmacy in Belmont. Stacy Criddle and Darlene Byron. That's your pharmacist there at 85 Main Street in the old Yarber Drugs building. Of course, you got the drive through available. You got your flu shots, no waiting. Offer easy transfer on your prescriptions. We'll offer immunization, flu shot, shingles vaccine, and, of course, you can call them at 454-9893. Also, big shout-out to Ruby Mays Boutique. That is the world-famous Brittany Burton, 279-2015. If you haven't had a chance to check them out in person, check them out online at Facebook, Instagram, and the website is rubymays.com. Our score at halftime, 21-19, East Union. It's brought to you by your hometown, Piggly Wiggly. And Belmont, Iuka Red Bay, by Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent on a broadcast, and by Sid's Trading Company. Of course, that is, of course, the world famous uh, Mr. Sid Whitehurst, your landmaster utility vehicle dealer. Also, they do those Branson tractors as well. 21 to 19. I'm going to turn it over to Randall here in just about a half a second. Uh, thank you, Peggy Montgomery, checking in. Peggy, we're down 21 19. We've got about five minutes before the start of the second half. Leon, uh, Leon, Mike Amok out there, Coach Larry Johnson with us as well on our broadcast. We're going to turn it over to uh, Randall Lindsay just for a second. If you're after joining us on a broadcast, I'm going to get something to drink and let Randall tell you about our sponsors once again. Belmont trails by two at halftime. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. All right, thank you, Jack. We've got about four minutes and a half before we get this second half started. Cardinals trail two to the East Union Urchins. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Missy and Dustin Brand is your owners. New location is 106 Main Street in Belmont. Check us out on Facebook or call us at 454-1033. Econo Storage on our Haskell Parks. We have lo located in Belmont and Tissue Mango, 423-8767. Phil Byram and Stas at Phil Byram and staff say good luck, Cardinals. They are, of course, located at Napa on 97 Main Street, 662-454-9754. Michael Haney says good luck to the Cardinals. Pier Pearson Construction, that's Terrell Pearson, is your owner, general, con general contractor. He is located at 29 Hargett Road in Golden. Phone number is 662-454-3100. And the website, Pearson pearsonconstruction.com. E email address is trail at pearsonconstruction.com. Funderflow, that's Michael Funderbirch, your owner, Com for all your commercial and residential pressure washing, 662-262-3569, free estimates. Thompson Gas, most trusted name in propane, local at operated 256-356-2194, and Dustin Chase Oliver is your hometown manager. Lawn Tech, that's Adam Pruitt, 662-312-9948, and on Facebook. Overdrive Auto Sports and Auto Sales, Kevin Crow means your owner, located at 721 Highway 25 in Dennis. Hours are 830 to 5. Call Gavin an appointment, 662-660-4505. Brandon Presley. Tonight's game brought to you by your hardworking public service commissioner, Brandon Presley. He's on the job fighting to get internet service through every house in rural Mississippi. Dr. Cameron Bonds, former Teach County baseball player, Cameron Bonds. 
at North Mississippi Medical Center. To schedule an appointment, Dr. Bond, 662-423-6014. The Red Bay Tiger girls won over in the Franklin County Tournament 59-42 to over the Red Devils. So, so they will advance Thursday night to play the number one seeded, the Tharptown Wildcats, Thursday night. Of course, we've got a crew over there in Vina. The in but trouble with the internet, so we'll re replay that later on. And we've got a crew over in Iuka as well. David Wade Crumbs, your Tishman County Tax Assessor, will be in Belmont at City Hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 to 4. We still have the regular hours at the courthouse, 8 to 5. For more information, 662 423 7059. We've got a crew over in Tishman County doing the Braves and the Troopers. Allen Hart, Hinton & Coolin, they have been in business for 46 years. Call today, 356-8913. Big Star Belmont says good luck, Cardinals. Of course, that is Sammy Hale and staff. They really appreciate your business open seven days a week. Cardinals are the back out on the court. They trail 21-19. The key is, like Jack said in the second half, is you want to try to keep Ty Ramsey and Eli Reno on the floor. Both of them has three fouls, so let's see what Coach Fair Fancher and Coach Chickenbottom can do here in the second half. Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Kellen Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser, or your agents, locations, Belmont and Red Bay. Belmont office, 662-454-3304. And in the Red Bay office, 256-356-4804. And they were licensed Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. And now to bring you half second half action. The man, the myth, the legend, Jack Ivey. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 serving North Alabama and Northeast Mississippi. I'm Jack Ivey with Randall Lindsay live here today. And we're about ready to start the second half. Belmont trails by two, but with the basketball. Belmont will start Ramsey and Reno both, even though they're in foul trouble with three fouls. They will start here in the second half. Ball out of bounds and Sappington will get it in to Ty Ramsey, and Ramsey is going to be fouled. So the Cardinals will take it in. That foul against their number 23, his second foul of the game. Reno with the ball out top. Work a little one-on-one. -on -one. Drives, has the ball knocked away, but able to pick it up, and they said he walked for the basketball. I'm not for sure of that one. Bring it down for the ball club from the Urchins is Russell. His name is Clayton Russell. He wears number one right down below us. Russell's got it. Works that ball over to the left side to Baldwin. Baldwin kicks it back out to Russell. Now the ball went out in the corner. He's the lefty with a three-pointer. It's too long. 35 of the rebound puts it up good, and he is going to be fouled. That basket will count. They looked at maybe Sappington. I'm not sure if they'll give it to Sappington or not, but uh, they looked that way. And they did give it to Sappington. That will be his third foul of the game as well. So it's 23-19. We'll get our school board up to date here in just about a half a second. Ty Ramsey drives, puts it up a little bit hard. So it's uh, no good. 23 to 19, your score. I made your scoreboard a little bit bigger so you can see it, hopefully. For some reason, we lost our scoreboard about the time the game started, and you have to, it takes a little bit to get her going, and trying to do it while the game's over makes it a little bit more difficult. 23 19, 651 to go. We're live on WRMG. Now a steal by Ramsey. Ramsey pushing it up. Russell there, but uh, Russell commits the foul, and Ramsey's going to go to the line to shoot two. 23-19, my question is, are you out there watching tonight? Now, how many are the of you, and where are you watching? Uh, Red Bay girls win tonight over Vina. They'll advance in the Franklin County Tournament. That final score was 59-42, to 59-42. to want to say hello to Diana Epps Barker out there with us. Will the Cardinals make one out of two? 
with Ramsey. So that'll make it 23 to 20, and a three-point shot by number 22. And that is Colin Stevens knocking down his second three of the game. That puts the Cardinals down by six now. After we had uh, tied this game up at 19, 26-20. We were down by two at halftime. Inside, beautiful pass in there. Saffin and shot is blocked by number 35, Johnson. Good pass by Ramsey in there, but uh, a little bit too tall of guys in there. Sapton had that shot blocked. So six minutes to go. The Urchin cheerleaders performing in the background. I told them they was going to be on television tonight. I don't know whether that excited them or not, but uh, so we told them we'd have them on TV. And, oh, there's a three-point shot by Clayton Russell, the guard out front. He's got at least five in the game, and that'll make it 29 to 20. Belmont's got to get it on the stick. Ty Ramsey, he can do it from right there. A shot is up no good. Ty having trouble getting them to fall like everybody else. Today's game brought to you by Big Star Belmont. Great customer service, Sammy Hill and his wonderful staff. Also, Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling on our broadcast here today. Big shout out to David Wayne Crum. Don't forget he's in Belmont as the Cardinals get a steal. Andrew Marino waits on the rest of the troops. Camden Green shoots the long three left side. No good. No white shirts rebounding. I mean, nobody in there that time. Of course, they hadn't really got back, and they take it all the way down the court and get an easy layup. Number 23 got that one, and the Cardinals will get a timeout and need one bigly. They're down 11 points. We were down only two at halftime, and right now it is, we'll get our scoreboard straight right here. It's 31 to 20, 31 to 20. Do me a favor if you're watching right now and you've not shared it, I want you to share this uh, broadcast for me, and we'll appreciate you. I'm going to give you a score over at Tish County. Uh, looks like uh, Tish County girls winning 32-17. That must be a halftime score over at Tishomingo County. So Tishomingo County girls, 32 to 17 at half. Do what? I don't know, probably 20 and 0 if they win that one. We're live on Jack Ivy Live tonight, WRMG Live, my personal Facebook page. We're on Twitter, we're on Twitch and YouTube as the Cardinals drive in. Good penetration of the basket that time by Mr. Landon Saffington. Saffington's got about six in the game. I say about because uh, I am not the official scorekeeper, and I might miss one trying to keep it up with all this other stuff. 31-20. Thank you, Stones Jewelry and Ripley and Tiffalo, along with Josh McNett on our broadcast. Mark Montgomery, your All-State agent, and that is going to be a jump, and it's going to be going to East Union. Appreciate Belmont Medical Clinic, Heather Edmondson. I see Mr. Shannon over here right now. Watching our ball game here live in Blue Springs, Mississippi, supporting the Cardinal. Long trip over here, shot up no good. We had two on that side, and they continue to get the rebounds, but they miss it. Now to Sappington. Sappington will bring it in and bring it right back out and reset the offense. 454-3401 gets you Belmont Medical Clinic and Heather Edmondson. And there's a pass intended for Marino right through his hands and out of bounds. Thank you, Hope, Michelle Grimes. Go Landon, keep up the good work, boys. Go Cardinals. Elena Hubbard out there with us tonight. Miss Evelyn Williams, uh, Sherry Green out there with us. Good job, Sap, from Ashley Brown. Frida Nichols says, hey, Jack. No, she says, hi, Jack. We'd been in trouble if we'd been on an airplane. They would have put Miss Frida in jail. There's a pull-up jump shot by Ben Basil to make it a 33-22 lead. Hope you're enjoying our live coverage. Tell me what it looks like and sounds like as Marino gets the basket. We haven't had a chance to go over and check it out, but let us know what it looks like and sounds like live here in uh, Blue Springs. And guess what? They just turned it over. We're going to get it back 33-24. We'll get our scoreboard up to date for you. It's 33-24. to And Belmont with a basketball. You need to kind of start 
closing this gap now. I know it's third quarter with three minutes, a lot of time, and there's a beautiful move there by Ty Ramsey. Five points for Ty, and that'll make it uh, 26. The long shot, three-pointer, no good. It reamed in and out, and now we're going to have a, a, a holding foul. And do we get the break or do they get the break? And they're going to call the foul against Belmont. 33-26. I was hoping for a maybe a jump. We would have got to basketball, but they called the foul on Belmont. Still double-checking to make sure who they foul called it on. 33-26. Sappington is checked out of the game. And there's a shot by number 35. It's up good. Caleb Johnson has got about 10 in the game. And Belmont is down 35 now to 26. Got to keep pushing. Jeremy Brock pulls up on the left elbow. Beautiful shot by Jeremy Brock. Thank you, Ola May Humphreys and Oscar out there. Glover checking into our broadcast. Red Bay girls win over Viner tonight. And the Cardinals get another steal. Back to Tice Ramsey. And Ramsey's got a layup, and I believe... East Union wants a timeout. So the Cardinals on a little run. It all started on the defensive end, and we've cut it to five points as we got down by 11. 35, Belmont. 30, uh, 35 to 30, East Union leading Belmont. But we are live in Blue Springs. Thank you, Miss uh, Ruth again. She said it looks good and sounds good. Uh, Miss Diane Lutt, L-U-D-T, says go Urchins. Miss Diane, do me a favor, share this. Hopefully we can get some more folks. By the way, you can go back and watch this later, not only on Facebook after the game, but on YouTube. Just search my name, Jack Ivy, and you'll be able to go back and watch it. Uh, Jody McClung checking in. Miss Lisa Locke uh, checking in. Uh, told you about Sarah Mansell checking into her broadcast as well. McClung, that remote is still missing, Randall said. 35 to 30. They try to kick it down the corner. Now try to lob it in. Good job, Marino, to lock it away. We've got a steal. Reno slows it up. Eli Reno, not only a great basketball player, but a great football player as well. We've got a whistle and a foul on the floor against East Union. Today's game brought to you by Northeast Mississippi Community College. Also, Jazz Mini Storage on the broadcast. Jeremy Rock got it in the green. He's open for the three. It's up and good. And, folks, that is a community Spirit Bank three-point shot. Community Spirit Bank and Belmont, Red Bay, also in Vina and Russellville, Alabama. Community Spirit Bank making the three-point shots possible here tonight on WRMG. Great job, Camden Green. I'll get that up there. We've cut it to two, 35 to 33, a minute 26 to go, third quarter. Thank you for letting me know how it looks and sounds. And if you're over on YouTube or some of the other places, you can't communicate with me, but maybe you can come over here to Facebook or while you're watching, and we're going to foul against Jeremy Brock. There's uh, Miss Cherie Randolph checking in. Got Derek Umphreys checking in. So if you're watching on YouTube, why don't you get your phone out and go to my Facebook app here and say, hey, Jack, I'm watching over on YouTube. You can watch it in high definition on your big screen if you've got a smart TV or one of those Roku boxes. And I think you would really enjoy it, checking it out on YouTube in high def. Rebound, let's go. There's the world-famous Cassie Grimes. And the free throw good. It's now 37 to 33, East Union leading as they make both those free throws. But the Cardinals were down by 11 just a minute ago. And now it's 37-34 with a minute to go in the third quarter. Reno down to Reno. Reno shot is blocked. Belmont will still have the basketball. So Belmont will take it in. Jeremy Brock to Green. Green shoots the long three. No good. Rebound goes to... East Union. Today's game brought to you by Belmont Mayor Buddy Wiltshire and all the aldermen in Belmont. Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonny Harris, Brandon Farr, and Ken Delaney. They go for a layup. It's up good. Number 22 got that one. So 
just when you think it was safe to maybe walk out inside and check that score, they're back up by six. Now Ramsey has one blocked from the top of the key by big number 30, Luke Wood. They kick it out to Wood. He'll shoot a three. It's up no good. We've got it with 19 seconds to go. Here's Andrew Marino with a basketball. Marino to Ramsey. Ramsey into Eli Reno. Reno lost it but runs it down. He'll bring it right back to the basket. Puts it up. No good. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot with six and a half seconds to go. And now they're calling it a foul on Eli. You have got to be kidding. That'll be his fourth foul of the ball game. How do they get that? I guess my mind must not be working tonight to get that. 39 to 33. They'll shoot one at the buzzer. It's short, no good. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey with Randall Lindsay here. Thirty-nine to thirty-three, the score as we go to the fourth quarter live on WRMG. Thank you for being out there tonight, Miss uh, Mac Neville and Williams with us out there. Miss Hope Grimes says, "Go Landon, keep up the good work, go Cardinals." So uh, let me know where you're watching tonight, and uh, if you want to say hello to somebody, you can, you're welcome to do it right there. You can even say, "Go Urchins" or "Go Cardinals." Thirty-nine to thirty-three, and we're down by six. And Belmont will get the basketball to start the uh, fourth quarter. Jazz mini storage owners are Jesse and Amy Shots. They're located on Warren Drive. They got some ten by ten, ten by fifteen, and ten by twenty units available to rent. Let us uh, store your merchandise right here in Belmont. Four two three eight five nine eight four two three eight five nine eight. Thank you all so much for being a part of the broadcast in all sports. Jazz Mini Store. Jess, you and Amy, thank you so much. It means a lot to have you all on a broadcast. Belmont, Ty Ramsey on the left wing, drives in traffic, and he is going to be charged with a walk, or are they going to charge three seconds? Three seconds against somebody. So the Cardinals making some mistakes. And they're going to get a foul against the Cardinals, blocking against uh, Ty Ramsey. That'll be Ty's fourth foul of the ball game. Reno and Ramsey all already on the bench. And now we block it with Ramsey. Ramsey comes out of there with it. Good job of Ty. Green down to Marino. Marino around. Everybody lays it up off the glass. Good by Andrew Marino. And the Cardinals, Marino is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. So Marino will go to the line. That foul is against their number one, which is Russell. That'll be his third foul of the ball game. Our free throw is up. It is a violation against the Cardinals. Belmont full court pressure. Russell is going to be a foul there by Belmont. And they're going to get Alex Marino. Belmont's uh, trailing 39 to 35. I have not put that other point up there. I apologize. I didn't even notice it. I have to do that with a, another hand over here. Takes about five hands to do all this stuff. Keeping up with the game, the scoreboard, and everything else. Russell back out of the ball to the left side, back to 23. Mr. Baldwin driving in, shot no good. He got his own rebound to put up good, 23 is Tristan Baldwin. He's up around that double figure mark, 41 to 35. Come on, Redbirds, Belmont boys, needing this road win here tonight. Reno's shot is blocked, and that's the second block recently 
by number 30, Luke Wood. He blocked uh, one out front on Rams and then blocked that one on the right side by uh, Marino. 41-35, and guess what? He takes it back to the hoop again, number 23, Baldwin. And Belmont gets another timeout. 43-35, to 35. just when you think that we're cutting into the lead, guess what? They get it right back. Three dog night. Jambalaya playing here at the ball game tonight. They play some great music here. Huh? Something you can actually enjoy, right? I mean, something you can enjoy. Live coverage here from WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. The Reno man is Johnny on the spot. Thank you. One of my rosters flew off the top of where we're at and it happened to be the Belmont roster. But uh, thank you, uh, Southern Elegance and Forest of Blue Teak, Haley Humphreys and Angie Petrie, clothes, jewelry. Got those Tyler candles, Cotton Creek candles. They got the Scentsy. They got Willow Tree Angels, pottery, home and gift items. They got a million things they can send for funerals and that type of stuff. If you don't want to send flowers, you want to send something to a member of the family, something a good keepsake, and you don't want to send flowers, they got that covered for you. And the Cardinals have just turned it over again. 32 coming up with a steal. Now the long shot in the corner, no good. Marino with a rebound. Outlet to Ramsey. Ramsey on the right side, drives down the baseline, kicks that ball back out. Brock to the uh, basket, up no good. Tipped around, Brock got it again, thanks to Ramsey. Cross court pass, Alex Marino to Andrew. Long three, left side up and no good. And that was Mr. Green. And that is going to be a foul against the Cardinals. And that's going to be against Alex Marino. Now the Cardinals at the 542 mark will send in Sappington and Eli Marino. Alex and Andrew Marino both will check out. Hey, there's Mary McDonald. Tim's checking into a broadcast. I want to say hello to Miss uh, Dieta Stevens out there. That is the seventh team foul for the Cardinals, and it'll be a one and one. Their shot is no good. We're going to have a jump with an arrow pointing back to East Junior. Forty-three thirty-five. Tish County girls winning big over Morville tonight, and we're going to have a whistle and a walk. There's Gary Ivy checking in with us. Ramsey driving in traffic, shot up no good. Reno got it, put it back up good, and he's fouled. Good job, Eli. Eli's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 unofficial. Reno, come on, we need this free throw. He completes a three-point play. That'll make it a five-point ball game, 43 now to 38. We're still in this ball game. We just got to play some defense. They kick it out in the corner. Now to the right wing. Down low to 35. His shot is up and good. Marino got a hand on it. And 35 still able to get that basket to go through. That's Caleb Johnson making it 45 to 38. We're going to make some stops on the other end if we want to get back in this game and win it. 4.55 to go. Long three-point shot off the back of the rim. No good by Ty Ramsey. Rebound goes to number 23, Tristan Baldwin. There's Brittany Klingon checking into our broadcast. East Union leading Belmont, 45 to 38. Live coverage here from Blue Springs, Mississippi. Only one game tonight. East Union girls got some COVID issues, I understand, so they had to forfeit tonight. And there is the steal by Ramsey. And Ramsey goes to the layup and missed it. Wow, and we have got a walk against East Union, so we're going to get it back. Ty says, Jack Ivey, give me that one again, and I'll get it in. Ty went up. He was going to try to just drop that ball in there, and somehow or another it kind of rolled off. You never know what that old ball is going to do sometimes. Sappington and Belmont leading by seven. Jeremy Brock. Sappington's open for the three left side. It's up and no good. 
Rebound Reno got it, but he had it stripped away. Now coming out of there with it is East Union. They throw it down the court and turn it over. The world famous Philip McGee checking in. Philip, when you turn over on the Ivy Broadcasting Company, you don't even have to ask what the score is or wait. We've got it up there for you. 45 to 38. 45 to 38. 349 to go. Belmont Ramsey, the long Community Spirit Bank three-point shot. You know, Community Spirit Bank, uh, you can do contactless payments available via Apple and Android Pay. And I believe that makes it 45 to 41. And guess what East Union did? They stepped out of bounds. Forty-five to forty-one, three twenty-nine to go in the ball game. Live coverage here, brought to you by Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks Ramsey to the baseline, jump shot, good. Ty Ramsey is heating up. Forty-five, forty-three. We've been down by eleven in this half. Good job there by the defense for the Cardinals. They'll get it over to twenty-three, balling. Mark Maroon checking in, Colin Williams. They'll shoot a long three in the corner, good. Stevens gets his third three of the game for East Union. Ramsey on the baseline, it's up and good. Ty Ramsey heating up, he scored the last uh, seven, I think, for Belmont. And they timeout, and let's see what our score is right now, 48 to 45. Belmont trailing by three, we're at the 244 mark. Randall, zoom in on there, and let's, let's see if you can zoom in there close enough to hear him. We're not going to be able to hear him all the way in as far as you can go in. Check out that board. Once again, folks, that is Coach Harrison Fancher, assisted by Coach Chris Hickenbottom. The Belmont Cardinals on the road tonight trying to get a big division win against the ball club from East Union. It's been a tough one. East Union's coach is out tonight, and I think the girls coach and other guys uh, helping out to make it Hopefully a successful night as far as they're concerned, but we're hoping their coach is going to be feeling better. He's unable to be here tonight. There's Denise Glover checking in with us. Quentin Rouse, Mark Maroon, Colin Williams, I told you, Philip McGee, Brittany Klingen checking in. Red Bay girls win tonight over in Vina. Scott Webster and David Leatherwood on the call over there. They're doing the they're doing Vina and Tharptown. Is it boys or girls after that? Girl, boys. And we'll have that game for you. And Mr. Eli Reno just fouled out of the game for the Cardinals. 48-45, 2.37 to go. So Eli Reno is out there. So John Bohannon checking in, Miss Regina Wallace. Claire Stone checking in on the rock. And the free throw is good by number 32. This is Ben Basil. Forty-nine to forty-five. That one's up, no good. Rebound tipped around. Jeremy Brock got it. Jeremy down to Alex Marino. His shot, no good. Alex probably should have uh, used that glass there. Forty-nine, forty-five. Two fourteen to go. We're down by four. We got plenty of time. Two twelve to go. Just got to play some defense. Make a stop right here. <coughs> They're passing around the horn. Thirty-five is open. He'll take the long three. No good. Belmont's got it with a minute and fifty-seven seconds to go. Sappington out of the top of the key. 145 now the clock running. Live coverage here from WRMG. Ramsey down to the baseline and Ramsey. Did he lose it out of bounds? I believe he did. I was hoping somebody else touched it. They go back door and they get us with an easy basket there. Caleb Johnson got that one. So the Cardinals have got a little lax here in the last little bit. Now it's 51-45 with a minute, 15 to go. 
Jeremy Brock, what about a community spirit bank three? It's up, no good. And Marino is going to be foul on the rebound. It will not be one and one. That will be the sixth team foul. That'll be number 35's fourth foul. We're going to have it underneath there on Bastic. Sappington gets it in to now to the top of the key. Three-pointer for the Cardinals. Camden Green knocks down that community spirit bank three, and we got a timeout. The score is now, you ready for this? 51 to 48, 51 to 48. 104 to go in the game. That Community Spirit Bank 3 brought to you by Community Spirit Bank. Need a loan or a new checking account? Why don't you contact a Community Spirit Banker and get started today? You can deposit cash and checks right at the ATM with Community Spirit Bank Spirit Deposit. Community Spirit Bank right there in Belmont with Mr. Mike Montgomery. And uh, I want to say hello to Michelle English out there watching us on the broadcast. Always an honor to have you here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We got, uh, of course, Tish County taking on the ball club from Morville tonight. And we're there. We're also in Vina at the Franklin County Tournament. We'll be there all week as well. Fifty-one to forty-eight. We're going to pick them up about a three-fourths of the court. A little one-two-two. It's paid off a little bit. They've uh, made a turnover or two off of it. Let's see if we can get something here. A little lob down to thirty-five, and he has the ball stolen away. Ty Ramsey's got it. Ty takes it coast to coast. Got the layup. Good. Ty Ramsey, and the Cardinals have made it a one-point ball game. 51-50, 43 seconds to go. Come on, Ty, don't foul out. And uh, Landon Sappington tried to take a fall. Now they go back door and make the easy layup. Sappington tried to make a fall, but there was no contact, and the official spot, spot that one. Ramsey shoots a three. It's up and good. What is the score now? 53-53. 53-53 is the score, and we've got a whistle and a foul against Camden Green. Once again, the score, we'll get it uh, fixed up right here. Bear with me. Belmont 53 and East Union 53. Guess what? There's 19 seconds to go. They're going to be at the free throw line, so the worst case scenario. And the free throw is up. It is good. Number 32 at the line. Ramsey's predicting a Ramsey, uh, Ty Ramsey three-pointer to buzzer. And the free throw is up. It is no good. Belmont with a rebound. We're down by one. And Belmont wants a timeout. So we're down 54-53. Thank you, Jacqueline Middleton checking in with us. Gary Moses, Ryan Gray with us. Red Bay girls win tonight, So all we need is a two, 17 seconds to go. Here comes the Cardinals down, down 54-53. We go to Ramsey right side. Ramsey down to 10 seconds. Ramsey, the long three, top of the key, way short. It's an air ball. We save it inbounds. Ramsey runs it down, but he's out of bounds with three seconds to go. Ramsey getting up slow. Jeremy Brock uh, didn't know that we were saving it back in, so he had his back to the play. So we're down to 3.8 seconds. We're down 
54-53, 3.8 seconds to go. East Union leads 54-53. What about a steal here on the inbounds? They get it into Russell, and he is going to be foul with 2.6 seconds. Fifty-five, fifty-three. as Clayton Russell makes the free throw. It's not over. Now it's 56-53. We have two seconds to go to make a three. Maybe now we turn it over on the end now. Wow. 56-53. We was hoping maybe for a mid-court shot for a three, maybe to tie it. But we turn it over again. And that is a ball game. 56 to 53 is the score. 56 53, the final score. East Union knocking off the Belmont Cardinals on the road tonight. So, congratulations to the Urchins and our sponsors tonight Ronald Thorne, Man Oil Change, Redmond Heating and Cooling, Sunny Can Belmont, Sparks Drive In, Explore Liquidations, Donald Ray Thomas by the Seegers Clinic, Daniel Sparks by Gatlin's Pharmacy, Tishomingo County Electric. Red Bud Supply, Mac Wom in your corner. By Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent. Jeff Daniels at Daniels Garage. Belmont Pharmacy. Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, Community Spirit Bank, Edric Parrish, Tona Armstrong and Lisa Ray at Mississippi Medical Associates, Urgent Care Clinic in Belmont. Community Spirit Bank. Also on the broadcast, Peyton Cummings by Tiffin Motorhomes. Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks. By Pro Concert, Terry Hayes in Tupelo. Milligan Ready Mix by Mid-South Rehab at the North Mississippi Medical Center, 423-4058. Hometown Pizza Belmont, Triple D's Bucket Service, Red Bay Hospital, Donnie Bell, your state representative, Silver Dollar Bargains, Square Pharmacy, Stacy Criddle and Darlene Byron, Ruby Mays Boutique with Brittany Burton. Also on the game today, Piggly Wiggly of Iuka Belmont, Red Bay, Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, and by Sid's Trading Company. That wraps up our broadcast. Cardinals losing a heartbreaker here tonight, 56 to 53. East Union winning over Belmont. For Randall Lindsay, I'm Jack Ivey saying, may God bless you and good night. And we'll see you next time for more Cardinal basketball here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, only one game tonight. Belmont boys lose 56-53 to East Union. Good night, everybody.